Hi, and welcome to another edition of Mother Bee Reads. Uh, I'm so happy to have you back with us again today for another read. If this is your first time with us, thank you for finding this channel. And if you are back for week number five, thank you so much for hanging in there with us um, through our first month of, of videos. We really appreciate it. I've been thinking so much about you and about what you might want to read together today. And I'm excited to share a book with you that is very special to me. Um, and so I want to dedicate this book, actually, today's read to all of the kinky haired girls out there, just like me, who are learning to love their hair. And one in particular uh, who loves to read and who I just so happen to know sometimes wears a bright orange bonnet to sleep at night. Uh, I hope to meet you again soon. Today's book is called I Love My Hair by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Here we go. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. But sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana? She asks. I shake my head no. Because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp the way we plant seeds in our garden, then wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we are going to buy. Tap, tap, clicky, clacky, milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clicky, clacky music my hair makes just for me. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. Once when I wore it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, to let the world know that they were proud of who they were and where they came from. I love my hair because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. Today, I'm wearing it in my favorite style of all. Two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air 
like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just might take off and fly. I read this book to help to remind me that uh, in order to really love something, you have to get to know it. So it can sometimes be nice to um, just think of all the things that you love about your hair. Make a list of all the things you love about your hair. You can even make a little list of the things that you don't love so much just yet. That's okay. Everybody has those. Um, but I hope this book, this read, encourages you to get to know your hair. Figure out all of the things that it can do. Just like Kiana, I bet your hair does all kinds of things you don't even know it can do yet. And there's no time like right now to start finding out. I hope you enjoyed today's very special read. Um, I certainly enjoyed having you with me. If you have not done this already, uh, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to Mother Bee Reads. Um, also click the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you again next week. Bye.